In this video, we're going to look at how you calculate a batting average. We'll start by using the very simple formula. Then we'll look at what those numbers actually mean. What conclusions can you draw from a batting average? And lastly, we'll look at a few complexities that make practically doing this a little bit more complicated. So let's start with the formula. So I've written the formula as shown here. So I've said BA stands for batting average equals the number of hits divided by the at bat. And to understand this formula, you need a few definitions. So hits are simply where the player hits the ball and reaches base um, safely. That one's very simple, easy to understand. The at bat is where a little bit more of the complexities come in. But fundamentally, the basic definition of this is it's the pl number of turns the player takes at batting with a fair chance of reaching base. So, for example, if the pitcher was to throw the ball in the opposite direction, well, you wouldn't include that in the at-bat and lower the um, batting average. That would be completely unfair. So anything that's unfair is generally not included in this in this number. So this is a clever formula. So if the number of hits goes up, since this is on the top of the fraction, your batting average goes up. If the number of hits was to go down, then your batting average goes down. And the at-bat works in the opposite way. So if the at-bat number was increased, well, that's going to make your batting average go down because you're at-bat more for the same number of hits. So you're going to get a lower batting average. Whereas if the number of at-bats was to go down a little, with the same number of hits, your batting average improves. That's the cleverness of this formula. So let's just make up some random numbers and put it in to see how this actually works in practice. So let's just say you've got 136 hits and you've got 412 at-bats. All you do is divide those two numbers. And in this case, it gives you a nice round 0 0.330, or you could say a 0.33 batting average. And notice how I've given three numbers. And this is the correct way to do it, and you'll, you'll see why in a moment. Uh, it's almost always given to three numbers unless you've got some sort of tie and you need a fourth number to tell whether one player is that tiny bit better than the other. But in general, always give these to three. And you'll see from the conclusions why we're doing this. So let's consider our 0.33, and we're going to say a season batting average, for example. A batting average isn't... In very informative unless you say exactly what it covers. Is this a career, a season, a game? Those numbers are interpreted completely differently. But for these conclusions, we're using season. And from this 0.33, we include that they hit 330 out of 1,000. So that's a way of expressing 0.33. And that's why I've included that zero, because when we move the decimal place, you want that zero to be there when you're looking at per thousand. You'd also conclude that the player is very exceptional. Um, anything above 0 0.3 is really excellent. And another way of looking at this 0 0.33 is to say that it's 33% of at-bats result in hits. So you can just take that, the first two numbers, and call that the percentage, and the third number would be a point. So if it was 0 0.331, that would be a 33.1 percent of at-bats resulting in hits. And lastly, we'll just very briefly touch on a few complexities. Um, if you have an accurate at-bat number recorded by someone else, it doesn't matter. But if you're recording it yourself, you would have to take into account, you know, walks don't count, the sacrifice don't count, obstruction calls, catcher interference, or when you're, you're hit by the pitch, that doesn't count. Just the simpler way to think of it is something that's not entirely fair, that doesn't truly reflect on a player's skill, shouldn't be included in the batting average because it would unfairly skew the number. So finally, um, thank you very much for watching. and I hope this has been helpful to you.